Good afternoon and welcome back to another edition of Live from Pastor Philip's Messy Desk, where if cleanliness isn't next to godliness, then it might be buried here somewhere. I'm so glad that you're back with me. I will be offering one of these uh, videos every week at about one o'clock, Monday through Thursday, from my office. And I go through my office and find something because it's very messy. It's always easy to find something interesting in here that I've accumulated through the years that I want to show you and uh, use it to talk about my faith in God and about our life in Christ. So today I have gone through my office and I've found and put in this box, which will open together, uh, another item from my messy desk. And this time I have... One of my favorite books It's a little book that I bought in Egypt. And that means because it's uh, Egyptian, it's, it's not uh, English. And uh, all of the writing is in a different language called Arabic. You can see it there at the bottom. And actually Arabic you read opposite the way you read English. So they read starting here and going that way, which means their books aren't like this, our books. Their books are backwards from our books. So there's the title page. And this is a story from the Bible about a man that Jesus heals and makes able to see. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna come behind the camera and show you the pictures because they're really good. <clears throat> so this is a man in the Bible. Uh, he his name was Bartimaeus, and he lived in a town called Jericho, which Jesus visited one time. And there's a picture of some people outside of Jericho. I really like the art in this book. Uh, very well done. It's simple, but very beautiful. And here comes Jesus walking into Jericho. And as he comes, before he even gets into Jericho, he, he, sees, he sees a blind man who's begging. And the blind man asks, who is, who is coming near me? And uh, sort of screams out. And his disciples tell him to be quiet, that Jesus is coming. Jesus is, is the one who he hears. Well, that just makes the blind man scream louder. If it's Jesus of Nazareth, have mercy on me. He says, I want to be healed. And Jesus hears him, and instead of walking away, Jesus wants to help him, even though the people say, uh, tell the blind man to go away. And Jesus hears him, and they find him, they find the blind man, and bring him to Jesus, because that's what Jesus wants. And Jesus is able to make him see, and this is my favorite picture in the book, you can see him opening his eyes for the first time there, really being able to see. Imagine what he feels like. But then the story goes on because they leave Jericho, and you can tell the man leaves his the bandage that was around his head and what he was using when he was still blind and the, what he was begging with, and he goes to follow Jesus. <clears throat> I like that story a lot. Uh, Jesus leaves Jericho with him, and they go up to Jerusalem. I'm going to read the story now from the Bible about this man born, the man who was healed. As Jesus was coming near Jericho, there was a blind man sitting by the road, begging. There he is. When he heard the crowd passing by, he asked, What is this? Jesus of Nazareth passing by, they told him. He cried out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. The people in front scolded him and told him to be quiet, but he shouted even more loudly, Son of David, have mercy on me. So Jesus stopped and ordered the blind man to be brought to him. When he came near, Jesus asked him, What do you want me to do for you? Sir, he answered, I want to see again. Jesus said to him, Then see, your faith has made you well. At once he was able to see, and he followed Jesus, giving thanks to God. When the crowd saw it, they all praised God. 
So when Jesus helps this man see, he says, your faith has made you well. And that's one of my favorite parts of this story because it tells me that when I am trusting God, when we learn to trust God because God loves us, it helps us understand that God will always work towards our good. That God is always going to take care of us and help us move forward, even when times are hard. Sometimes our eyes are opened very quickly to the ways God is helping us, like in this story. And sometimes it takes a while for our eyes to kind of see how God is leading us and guiding us and calling us to follow. But like the man who was healed of his blindness gets up and follows Jesus, we can also follow Jesus. And we see that our faith, our trust in God, is what makes us well. It what makes us go to, through each new day with a confidence that God loves us no matter what. So that is uh, my message from Messy Desk today with one of my favorite stories from the Bible and one of my favorite books. Uh, I hope you have a great day. I'll be back here tomorrow. Uh, and why don't you join me with a word of prayer? Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for this day and a new week. We ask that you help us learn how to trust in you, to put our faith in you, so that we can get up and see how you are working around us and how your love is always there for us, so that we, like the man who was healed, can follow Jesus each and every day, no matter where he takes us. We ask all of this in the name of our, our Savior, your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. And until next time, just remember to wash your hands, remember your baptism, and may the Lord bless you and keep you. God bless.